Yo, what is up guys, Colin one here, and I'm back today bringing you another After Effects tutorial, and this week it's going to be on this 3D stroke I did in my Paraflincy episode, which I scrapped a little while ago. So I'll just show you a preview right now. You have interfered with our affairs for the last time. Many men wish to require your yeah, so it's this little stroke right over here that comes around the Watching a master. You have interfered with our affairs for the This stroke. And you can see it goes around the gun in some parts and underneath the gun in others. And it's really simple, but it's really useful and it's really clean. So uh, let's just get right into this. So over here in After Effects, I have the same clip. And I'm just going to tell you now, it works best and looks the best with over-the-shoulder shots, which means the gun is coming over your shoulder and it's not double wide. So it means it comes out and it, you can really twixture it really smooth. So what I have here is my clip and I twitched it down to about 5% for 60 frames which would be a second and then I have it sped up again and then you'll have your kill or whatever synced so I'll turn off the color correction for now so now we just have the clip so now the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new solid so you can go to layer new and solid you can name this stroke and the color doesn't matter it's a pretty gross color and you can search up 3D stroke. So this is part of Trap Code, which is a uh, suite, a plugin suite, third party. So you can download the free trial if you search Red Giant or like Trap Code 3D stroke. And you can search a free trial if you don't have it already. And now what you want to do is you're going to need to make a mask. So on this stroke layer, you're going to want to make a mask around the gun. So I'll show you how to do that. So just pretty much right in the middle of the Twixter, you can just start start over here and now click up there and hold the click and drag it until it's really smooth, until it's kind of smoother. And then you can come over here and you just want to like work with it until it looks good. So I mean this doesn't look great, I'll just try one more time. But this is just for the tutorial, you can make it look really, really nice. So that's fine, I guess, for the tutorial. In the in the edit itself, I had a nice, it was more compact and looked really good. But it's all right for now, I guess. That'll do, I guess. So what you want to do, you know, now to animate the 3D stroke is first you can trim it, and so now you just have the stroke. You want to keyframe the offset. So, right at the first keyframe of the Twixter, go to your offset, and you can put that down to negative 100. And then at the last keyframe, or maybe a few keyframes before, you can put it at 100. So, that's going to make it go from there to there. Now, to give it a really, you get keyframe at 100. So, to give it the better effect, you want to go to taper and enable the taper and you can see it's thinner but on the edges it tapers that's what taper does and, but I like to just make it a little bit thicker because I don't like it so thin I just like a little bit so that should be good for now and now I'll show you how to uh, wrap it around the gun so what you need to do is make another solid so I'll just I can just duplicate this and delete the stroke and the mask but you can just make a new solid, doesn't matter and I'll rename this to track mat no I don't want to open up mail oh, sorry about that anyways, so now that you have this solid you can go ahead and hide that layer and you don't see anything different of course so now what we want to do is make another mask around the gun on the first keyframe so I'll do it pretty simply. You want to take your time on this and make sure it looks really nice to give it like a good effect of wrapping around the gun. But I'm just doing it pretty basic job and you should probably do this better than I am. I'll be back when this is done. Guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I just did a pretty basic mask around the gun. And like I said before, you should spend some more time on this, but this is just for the tutorial. So, 
Now what you need to do is, if you were to turn this on here, you can see that it's covering the gun, and that's what you want. But what you need to do now is press M, so you can keyframe your mask path. And once that's keyframed, you want to go about every 10 frames or so, maybe 20, and you want to adjust the path of the mask so it's, it lines up with the gun throughout the entire video so for while the twixter lasts and while the stroke is playing. So I'm going to fix that now, and I'll be right back. Guys, I'm back, and as you can see, the path is kind of animated to the gun now, and I did it over a 20 frame period. And uh, what you're going to want to do next is go forward another 20 frames and do the exact same thing. So I'm just going to do it for the next 40 frames, and I'll be back once I do that. Guys, I'm back, and as you can see, you can see the path is kind of animated to the gun, and that's what we want. And this wasn't a great job, and I just want to point out that you should uh, really spend your time on this to make to sell the effect that it's wrapping around the gun and it's really 3D. And um, so yeah, the next thing that you want to do is if you toggle your switches and modes here, you can see a thing called track mat. And where it says on the stroke track mat, you want to do the alpha mat of the layer track mat. Actually, you're going to want to do the alpha mat inverted. So now, what's happening is it's only displaying the inverted alpha of of this layer. So everything that's not uh, green is being shown. It's kind of confusing, but I hope you guys understand that. Whatever is not in this layer as you can see, the white is not where the green is, so it's being shown. It's, a, it's an alpha mat inverted. I hope that makes sense. Um, so if you want to wrap the gun around, you can see that you want maybe this to wrap around, but then you want the next one not to wrap around, and then maybe the next one to wrap around, and maybe this one not to. So what you want to do is go back into your track mat, and you're going to need to make some more masks. So. The first one we're going to do is we're going to say we want this first one to wrap around. So if we were to if we were to turn off the track map for now, the first thing we want to do is make a mask around this part of the stroke that you want to show. So as you can see, this part we want to show even though that it is it's in the original mask we still want it to show so so what we do is on the mask 2 that we just made we set it to subtract so now if we turn it on we can see that this part of the mask isn't in green which means it will show I hope that makes sense so you're gonna want to do that again for the next part that you want to be over the gun so we can turn that off and we want this one to be we want this one to be under the gun so that's alright and then we want the next one, this one here, we want this to be over the we want this to be over the gun. So we're gonna make another mask. Like so. And it doesn't need to be perfect, you just don't want it to touch the other parts of the stroke. Only the parts where you want it to be over. So now you can also subtra subtract that mask. And I think that's it. That those are the only two that we want over, and the rest will be under the mat, under the gun. So now, if we set the track mat back to alpha inverted, you can see that that's over, that's under, that's over, and the last one is under. So you can see it's wrapping around the gun, and that's pretty much the effect. So now, to make it look better, first you can put your color correction layer above everything, and I also like to add a glow just a regular glow and put that onto the 3D stroke layer. And now you can see it's kind of glowing. You can also change the color of the 3D stroke, match it, match it to your color correction. So I, I'll give it a little bit of a blue. And then if we turn the color correction on, it actually looks pretty nice. So wraps around with the twixter, then it speeds up, and then you can have it kill him. And it's a really sick effect. I don't use it often, but when I get the chance to, I definitely do. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found this helpful, and I'm really sorry if it was confusing.
it's kind of a hard thing to explain, but I think you guys should be able to get this. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.